Three, two, one. Hey there, YouTube. Zero Rockstar 7 here, and today I have a review for you guys. I had planned to do a review on this firing at the 1000 round mark. As you guys can tell by the title, it's the Taurus TX22, so let's get it started. Alright, guys, so I bought the Taurus TX22 the first week of April. Uh, when I was in the market for a 22 caliber pistol, I was either going to get the Taurus TX22 or the Glock 44. I've never shot the Glock 44, I've only held it at my local gun shop, so I can't really say much about it. Feels like a regular Glock 19, just lighter, but then again, I've never fired it. I'm not going to bash the Glock 44, considering there's some mixed reviews out there. That's good, that it's bad, I don't know, I don't own one, never shot one. Um, so when I went there and I saw the Taurus Kick 22, it really caught my eye, not only the way it felt, but price-wise. So I really liked the Taurus 22 and went ahead and purchased it. After I left the gun shop, I went straight to the range and I fired maybe two, three magazines out of it and it performed flawlessly. So right out of the box, it was two thumbs up. So right now, uh, let's uh, do a close up on it and let's do a takedown. So the Taurus TX22 comes in this cardboard box, nothing fancy. As you open the box, you will get your lifetime warranty card, some NRA literature here, your Taurus TX22 instruction manual, you get a Taurus brochure, you get your gun lock which nobody uses, and then you get your Taurus TX22 pistol. You get a magazine loader, you get two 16 round magazines, and you get a barrel adapter in case you want to run your gun suppressed. I don't have a suppressor so I run my gun as it is right now. So first things first, let's do a safety check. Take out the box here. Magazine is clear. Gun is clear. So I had mentioned before I wanted to do a review on it at the thousand round mark. I'm at about 1,100 rounds and it has performed really, really well. So right now let's do a takedown on it. It's fairly easy. The way you do it is once again, safety check. To do is just gonna pull the trigger. Do that famous Glock hold, pull it back a little bit, pull these tabs down, and release. And there it is, you guys. Here is your recoil spring, and there is your barrel. Putting it back together is just as easy. Line up those tabs as so. If I can get it right. And there you go. So the Taurus TX22, after 1100 rounds, I can simply say that I absolutely love this firearm. I enjoy shooting it, it's very, very fun to blink around with. Um, after those 1100 rounds, I've had a couple issues with it. One being hollow point ammunition. For some reason, that one time I was at the range with hollow point ammunition, I had about three or four failures to feed. But then again, that day, I was practicing reloading drills and the magazines were being dropped in dirt, which could play a part why the gun was malfunctioning. So aside from those malfunctions, I have not had any other issues with the Taurus TX22. Before I made this purchase, I read forums and watched YouTube videos that people were having trouble with barrel fouling, causing their bullets to keyhole and whatnot. Well, I also read that these issues were in first production models of the Taurus TX22 and got corrected later on. Um, with my Taurus TX22, I have not had any issues. Till this day, it shoots very, very good. I have not any keyhole issues and uh, it shoots very accurate. As I mentioned, I love my purchase. I love the Taurus TX22 and I'm very happy with it. However, I did have one major issue with the Taurus TX22. Let me tell you guys a story. So a month after I bought my Taurus TX22, a buddy of mine uh, bought the Taurus G3. And he calls me up and he said, hey man, let's go to the range and I want to try out my new gun. And I said, okay, I'll go with you. So I took my Taurus TX22, knowingly that I would pass a thousand round mark on that day. So I took about 300 rounds. So we get there, we set up, we put some steel, we put some paper up, and we're having a fun time. So, no kidding, I think my Taurus TX22 knew that I was about to pass a thousand round mark. I loaded up a 60 round magazine. And right before, I shot maybe the 12th or 13th round. Um, as I'm shooting, I notice that the rear sight is hanging off to one side. And I look at it, but I don't stop shooting, so I just empty out the magazine. 
and I realized that the site is almost about to fall off. I actually have a video of it. Let's roll the tape. Before I roll the video, guys, please excuse the foul language when I realized that my rear sight was about to fall off. Good fucking shit, dude. So as you guys can see, once I fired the last two, three rounds, I noticed that the rear sight is hanging off the slide to one side, right? So uh, when I finish, I remove the rear sight completely off the slide. And I'm trying to figure out what happened. And what happened was the set screw that holds the rear sight onto the slide somehow fell off. So there I am, you know, trying to figure everything out. And I look over, trying to find the tiny set screw in dirt. So obviously I didn't find it. When this happened, I was pretty upset. I was bummed out because the gun is only a month old, a uh, thousand rounds in, so this should not have happened, right? Um, but then again, I thought this is a perfect moment to test Taurus's customer service. The rear sight issue happened on a Friday evening, so I had to wait till Monday to call Taurus's customer service. So I called Monday morning, and I was on hold for 54 minutes. A lady finally answered my call, and she was very friendly, very helpful, and I explained to her the issue that had happened the Friday before, right? So um, she said right away, give me your shipping address, and we'll ship you the new rear sight assembly, including the set screw. And I thought that was way too easy, but sure enough, six days later, I get a package from Taurus that includes the rear sight and the set screw. So Taurus definitely came through with my issue and they fixed it. They sent everything for free. I didn't pay one cent to get my replacement sight or set screw. And I was very happy with the way they handled my situation. They didn't ask any questions, ifs, ands, or buts. They just said, you know what, give me your shipping address and we'll send you the replacement. So all in all, I just gotta say that I love this gun. I love the way it's performed, I love the way it feels. I love that it shoots all kinds of ammo. Um, I paid 270 for it at my local gun shop. You might get it cheaper in some states. Um, so I highly recommend this firearm, guys. Um, I absolutely love it. I love the way that it just performs overall. Um, other than that, you guys, I have nothing else to say about it. It's just an awesome, awesome 22 planker. Um, I highly recommend it for young shooters, for women, for people that just want to go out and not spend too much money. I don't really consider it much of a trainer gun. You know, there's, there's the weight, the ergonomics, a lot of factors play in for it to be a trainer gun. Personally, I don't think it's a trainer gun, but if you use it as a trainer gun, you know, more power to you. Um, I do want to do one shout out, however, um, to one YouTuber. The thing is, before I bought this gun, I watched like a thousand videos on Taurus TX22, and one channel stuck out. This channel is NAS Gun Talk. He's got a lot of good footage on the Taurus TX22. He runs a lot of rails, he's got a timer, and real cool guy. I actually spoke to him, and he's a real cool down to earth guy. I highly recommend you go to this channel and watch his content. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, post them down uh, on the comments section, uh, and uh, I'll respond to you as quick as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Rockstar out.